Hey everybody, have you ever wondered what the difference between a standard Adams A4 trumpet is and the Adams A4 Shepherd's Crook trumpet? There are a few big differences that you might not just see past the bell curve. So stay tuned to this video and I'll talk to you about them. Thanks. Hey everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. I hope you're having a fantastic day today and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with us. We're putting out a ton of content, as you could see. And while we cannot have you at the shop and we miss you very much, we're always here via the phone or email. Um, it's rare that I get these horns in stock long enough to do a video. So finally, now that I have uh, a chance to do this video, I wanted to compare and contrast the two Adams trumpets, be it the Shepherd's Crooked version, like you see here, which is just a gorgeous horn, isn't it? Uh, it was kind of a, one of the inspirations for Copernicus, which is the double Shepherd's Crooked model. Um, and we'll link a video up on the top so you can check out Copernicus if you haven't checked it out. Um, and the regular, very, very popular standard A4 trumpet. Now, since I have the Shepherd's Crook trumpet in my hand, I'm going to talk about that horn first. Obviously, obviously, we've got the crook. I am not a crook. No, no, no. We've got the, the Shepherd's Crook bend, which is fairly pronounced, um, that does shrink the length of the instrument slightly. Um, but what you don't see are two big differences in the horn. First and foremost, you want to look at this brace right here. Do you see that brace? Look on the other side. There's no brace. On the Shepherd's Crooked models, we eliminate the brace there. So it makes it feel a little bit more resonant in the hand and a little bit freer blowing. It also makes it a little floppier overall. Finding the slots is a little bit more of a challenge, but not huge. The last thing you'll see is this front brace position. Notice that. It's kind of strange, isn't it? It's almost somewhat re reversed. So by doing that, we're changing the contact point of the bell brace. In contrast, let me show you the standard configuration of the A4 trumpet. Right, right off the top, you see the brace right there. See it right there? Then look at the front bell brace position. Now there's two reasons for doing that. This one is a little bit more stable. It also uh, boxes the sound in a little bit. A lot of people who play the Shepherd's Crooked Horn, they go, the horn is alive. It has a, a, a very different resonance to it. There's a, you know, pluses or minuses on everything. Think about it this way. A great acoustician, Bill Cardwell said, everything affects everything. You change one thing here, you're gonna change two or three or four other things when it comes to the aspect of playability. So both are great options, but I, because I had them in the shop, finally, I wanted to do this video. So what I'm going to do is play them back and forth. Um, first with uh, just my 3B mouthpiece, and then I'll put something of smaller in for a pop clip at the end, okay? So we'll start with the 3B, and since I have the A4 standard in our hand, I'm going to play that. Here we go. If you hear something in, in the sound, post them in your comments. Thanks. Now starting with this.
A4, it's a big horn for me, especially now on my A1, it's a lot more compact than this horn. So if you hear me kind of uh, struggling with the horn, it's not the horn, it's me trying to, you know, play the horn. So let's play some bebop now. And then this. And then finally, I'll put something in a little bit more aggressive, or a lot more aggressive, and play a pop excerpt on this. Let's see what we got here. We'll do the old TA screech. Oh. stretch for me on that A. And then the non. I'd have to find that A a little bit on these horns, but uh, it's still possible, even though the bell is ginormous. This is a five and a half inch bell, by the way, on the Adams A4. So hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Please, again, hit that subscribe button wherever it might be. Thanks for your great support. If you ever have any questions, just reach out to us, okay? Thanks so much.